yes welcome back to the session in this video i'm going to discuss about elastic head-on collision in two dimension okay so look at the first diagram here so this is the first diagram look at this diagram carefully we have two objects the first object of mass m1 which is moving with velocity u1 along x-axis direction and the second object of mass m2 which is located on the x-axis but the second object is at rest state that's why initial velocity of the second object is zero okay so here only the first object only moving along x-axis direction so whenever the first body is moving here definitely after a small interval of time the first body collides the second body in this direction okay but according to the statement the collision is a two-dimensional collision right so whenever collision happen here this after the collision this first body and second body will move with the different velocities in a two-dimensional plane xy plane okay so look at the second diagram here so after the collision let us assume the first body of mass m1 which is moving with velocity v1 in this direction similarly the second body initially is at rest state here but after the collision the second body of mass m2 which is moving in xy plane in this direction so here v2 is the velocity of the second body after the collision okay so these two objects are moving perpendicular to each other in a two dimensional plane okay so already we know that resolution of vector the first body is moving in this direction it makes an angle theta with respect to x axis so at this location also it makes the same angle with respect to the x-axis so horizontal component of first object is v1 cos theta okay if this is v1 cos theta means exactly perpendicular component is v1 sin theta okay so this is for a resolution of vector for first body similarly for second body is moving in this direction right with a velocity v2 so here this velocity vector it makes an angle pi with respect to x axis so exactly on the same side i have taken here pi okay so whenever angle pi was present here the velocity of the second body is v2 right so we can write it as this component is v2 cos pi and perpendicular component this one is v2 sin pi okay so this is the velocities of the two bodies after the collision so here both the bodies are moving in a two dimensional plane right with the different velocities v1 and v2 okay so based on this i'm going to calculate conservation of momentum and conservation of kinetic energy for two dimensional motion okay so first let us assume v1 and v2 actually here this v1 and v2 are lies in xy plane right so we can write it as v1 and v2 lies in xy plane only there is no doubt in that okay now i'm going to use a conservation of momentum for along x-axis direction so first i'm going to calculate conservation of momentum conservation of momentum along x-axis okay so conservation of momentum means before collision after collision net momentum is same correct or not so first i am going to write basic formula of conservation of momentum and then i will apply based on this condition okay so first we have two objects so first body momentum initial momentum is m1 u1 second body initial momentum is m2 u2 is equal to after the collision final final momentum means m1 v1 plus m2 v2 so this is for along x-axis direction now i'm going to apply the condition look at the first diagram so this diagram the first body is moving with velocity u1 so before collision first body momentum is there is no change m1 u1 as it is we can write plus the second body of mass is m2 so we can write m2 but initial velocity of the second body is zero right into zero is equal to after collision so we are considering here x-axis direction only right momentum we are calculating only 
x axis direction so after the collision the first body along x axis means this side second body along x axis means this side only right so after collision mass of the first body is m1 velocity component along x axis is v1 cos theta v1 cos theta plus second body mass is m2 its velocity is v2 cos pi okay so therefore the final expression we can write along x axis is m1 u1 is equal to m1 v1 cos theta plus m2 v2 cos pi so this is the conservation of momentum along x axis okay so not only x axis here both the bodies are moving two dimensional plane so each and every location it is covering x axis direction as well as y axis direction also right so the next i am going to calculate conservation of momentum conservation of momentum along y axis so conservation of momentum means you know before collision after collision momentum will be same but here we are going to calculate along y axis direction let's see the steps so the first basic formula of conservation of momentum i am using this formula only again i am writing for understanding purpose so i am writing as it is m1 u1 plus m2 u2 so these are the initial momentums of the two bodies before collision is equal to after collision means m1 v1 plus m2 v2 okay so this is before collision and this is after collision look at the diagram carefully before collision also the first body is moving along x axis direction only it is not at all moving y axis so therefore according to conservation of momentum along y axis there is no initial momentum along y axis so directly we can write it as zero is equal to after the collision the first body of mass m1 which is moving in this direction positive y axis and the second body is moving in this direction downward right so after the collision m1 a velocity component is y, y axis direction v1 sin theta and the second body is moving negative y axis direction in this direction so exactly opposite side so instead of plus i'm taking minus m2 v2 sin pi okay so this is the conservation of momentum along y axis direction okay so after getting this uh, conservation of momentum along x axis and y axis then easily we can calculate conservation of kinetic energy also okay let's see uh, conservation of kinetic energy so now i'm going to calculate conservation of kinetic energy before collision and after collision okay so before collision means first body kinetic energy is half m1 u1 square plus second body which is at rest state there is no initial speed so its kinetic energy is zero <coughs> is equal to after collision the first body velocity is v so half m1 v1 square plus second body kinetic energy is half m2 v2 square so left side if you are taking halves common terms and all outside means so left side halves right side of skirt the rest of the equation is m1 u1 square is equal to m1 v1 square plus m2 v2 square so this is the conservation of moment conservation of kinetic energy expression okay so if you observe carefully uh, in this diagram we have four quantities right so what are the four quantities one is the final speed of the first body v1 final speed of the second body v2 and angle theta 1 and other one is angle theta 2 so these are the four quantities right so these four unknown quantities v1 v2 theta 1 and uh, that is another one is pi this cannot be calculated with the help of these three equations so what are the three equations i mentioned here 
with the help of these three equations we cannot able to find these values but instead of this four if you know three i mean if you know v1 and v2 and theta then we can calculate unknown factor of fourth one pi we can easily calculate or suppose if you know final velocity of the first body final velocity of the second body and angle pi then with the help of these three quantities we can calculate theta okay so i hope you understand thank you thank you so much